Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, goblins of all ages, welcome back to another edition of the greatest goddamn D&D stream in this world and the next here. Welcome to Goblins Under the Stairs. <laughs> you got Soul Ride the Destroyer ready to slash and bash a Sunday night with my epic wrecking crew of destroyers. You got the man in the darkness, Thag the Mang. You got the ghost of Wilma Chattington. And of course, <laughs> to lead us on this epic adventure, we got the greatest D&D DM in all the land here. It's Nate Gonzalez. Take it away, hell. Boo -doo -boo -boo -boo. Thank you, Soul Rack Destroyer. Welcome back, everyone, to another wonderful evening of Goblins Under the Stairs. We got a fun game ahead of us. Um, if any one of you guys wants to jump on in real quick and uh, give a recap for some inspiration, feel free to do oh, so. I need that recap. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I guess Carlos isn't doing it. Uh, <laughs> Luke or Johnny? I honestly yeah. forgot what happened last uh, time. <laughs> so, I, I, I can take it then. Um, it'll probably be quicker if I just go ahead then. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead. All right. So uh, last time we were all together, you guys have just entered into this strange um, space in some far realm um, pocket dimension of sorts. Um, looking around, seemingly this area that you found yourselves in seemed to be the interior of a brain of sorts, uh, a nice briny maze. Uh, you guys continue to push yourselves forward as you make yourselves into this strange, stinky, unpleasantly moist area. And um, first thing that you guys notice are a couple of like wizard bodies melted into a wall. After Solrak goes and investigates them, maybe getting a little too close, a couple of flame skulls erupted from um, their um, faces and attacked you guys. Uh, erupting with some serious fireballs and fiery attacks on you. After dealing with them, you made your way forward where you found a room uh, filled with, like, I'm going to say, tumorous growths on the ground. And in the one wall, a giant silver alien like sword stabbed into some sort of aberration creature into the wall, oozing out some sort of um, ike or down to the ground. Uh, after a bit of investigation, you notice that this sword was, in fact, a Gith Yankee silver uh, longsword, a kind of legendary blade that the Gith Yankee wield, um, and it's not very likely that they ever misplaced them as this one uh, was found here. As you guys continued on, though, after taking that blade out from there, you heard some strange eerie sounds and saw some shadows moving around in this area and decided, you know, let's not fuck with that. Uh, let's actually go around the corner and uh, let's see what we find here. And around the corner, you guys found uh, a group of three Gith Yankee, two uh, warriors and a knight. And um, the knight's name, Varakta, uh, it was his blade that you guys found stabbed down there. And they gave you guys a bit of information after you guys gave them their blade back, uh, kind of making amends and an agreement of sorts, finding a, a common enemy with the Mind Flayers and the, um, and of course, Talvar, uh, the Elder Brain. And you made this common ground come to an agreement, and they give you all sorts of information of what they have found out since being down here. Uh, apparently, some Mind Flayers have gone by with some uh, prisoners not long ago. Uh, they've only been in here for a couple of days themselves um, and have also met or encountered some strange man up to the north uh, and a creature that they didn't encounter yet, but they heard him talking about him called Jitterjaws. And uh, they give you guys a, a space to rest for a little bit, showed you these rods that were in one wall that they said could uh, open and activate a door, uh, a passageway inside this chamber here. Um, you guys would have to do that probably again by the time uh, you guys leave this if you want to travel through that passageway. Um, but you made your way up to the north to find uh, this strange man um, and a even stranger creature attached to the ceiling of this room. Uh, the man, Shalfi, was digging away at the ground with a spade, uh, mumbling about some sort of dragon that made its way in there and that they need to get their way to it. Um, after some back and forth with them, uh, this creature Jitterjaws seemed to sense out the fact that Githyanki were in here, and knowing the true 
purpose of, of Git Yankee typically that being to destroy uh, mind flayers with it and any sort of those kind of psionic aberrations. Uh, he said that that simply will not do having you guys all in here and lunged out at you guys. And with that, I need everyone to roll initiative. Um, as I said last game, uh, I'm going to give you guys control over the Git Yankee to, uh, within combat, of course, outside of combat, I will take care of them. Um, but yeah, Carlos, you can take Varakta, uh, Kolbauer, you can take Vazi, and Luke, you can take Kianka. Hot. Uh, yes, so... Ooh, oh, the, man, we didn't roll too hot, then. No, you did not. It does not look that way. Let's see. Let's go ahead and put on some combat music as we get this started. Oh, you bet you're going to put on combat music. That's right. <laughs> um, first up is Shalfi. He jumps up straight. You see a couple of his black eyes blinking on his face. He kind of gives himself a jitter around as he flips his spade around in his hand and ah! just runs up to Lauren and scream. And as he goes up and tries to stab him twice uh, with his blade, uh, a 20 will hit Lauren in and Lordy, no! so will another 20 as he does... Uh, 17 plus 13, uh, that's 30 points of damage on Larnin. Jesus. Uh, not looking so hot. Uh, you see as he stabs in that second one, uh, all of his eyes blink at the same time. He looks like he's focusing in on something as he shoots out a psychic blast at him and Larnin, uh, pulls out the spade from his chest and dodges out of the way of this just in time. Um, and you look as he goes, ah, that was close, but not close enough as he, uh, all of his eyes blink again uh, in unison and whew, he vanishes from right there. Great. And yes, you can see him uh, running down the hallway now behind you and here I'm just screaming ha, 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 catch me if you can as he runs away uh, and it's still Rex's turn okay um, I am not fast enough to catch him so I look at Fang and I say you should take that son of a bitch out I got the big bitch over here and I look over at the monster and, um, well, 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 <laughs> I think I'm going to have to do it. First things first, it's rage time here. I'm going to start raging. Then I'm going to charge at this creature. I'm going to take a swing with my uh, demon sword. All right, go for it. Okay. Ooh, a 12, um, and I will miss. Rolling on. 19. 19 will hit. Yeah, buddy. And that is 10 plus... Ooh, 18 damage. Very nice. One more. 15. 15 will hit. Yeah. And that's 10 plus... 15 damage more. Very nice. And, uh, I'm good there, actually. I'll end my turn. And you take two massive slashes into this beast, where you can see it's, like, rooted into the ceiling of this brainy kind of chamber. Uh, its head's swinging uh, wildly uh, as it's sensing out all you different uh, creatures within here. You see its, its teeth, uh, sharp tooth maul in the front that with all these teeth that go down its neck into rib cages and different kind of uh, body parts and, um... You know, it's a strange kind of hulking amalgamation of teeth and blood and mashed up body parts. It's uh, a gory, sinuous uh, monstrosity, and it's pissed off now. Um, Wilma, well, you are up. All right, so I'm just going to uh, tell Larnie to run! <laughs> and I'm going to start running myself down here. Once I get to 
Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Once I get... Yeah, I can still hit him. Right about here, I... Um, you guys just kind of feel pulse just kind of leave me, and that is going to be uh, an enabling bond. So it's five creatures, so one, two, th three, one, two, three, four, five, including myself. So, um, Kianka and Vazi don't get it, but everybody else does. As you do run down that way, one of the heads sniffs out, um, your scent and <clears throat> chomps out at you, uh, takes a nice bite of your, your rear end, uh, that's a 27 to hit Oof. with an opportunity attack. That's gonna hit, that is a... Big old range. Yes, it's a uh, 23 points of piercing damage, and as you begin to run out that way, uh, it grabs you on the back and pulls you back, and it has you in its mouth now, uh, grappled. So where would I be? Or uh, you will? I'm just gonna pull you right back to it so that you're within its range, but it has a 30 foot reach. Woof. All uh, right. So there I am. That was my action. Bonus action. Do I have any bonus action spells? Did not expect that. I think that's going to be it for me. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, at the end of oh, your... I'm sorry. <laughs> bonus action. I'm going to cast... Sanctuary on my or no, I don't want to do that. No, I'm good. We're good. Okay. All right. At the end of your turn, then, uh, Yankee Knight Varakta is up now. Okay. So here, I just want to see. I'm gonna move this character just to see if I can see how far the other guy ran away. Cause... Uh, well, if you're moving there, you're gonna move there. Oh no, I just can't <laughs> see at all. Like that guy. How far would you say he's he's made it? Uh, let's see what your passive perception is. Twelve. Uh, it sounds like he's made it pretty far. You definitely can't see him, or uh, he sounds pretty distant from you. Because here's the thing. This guy has misty step. Yeah. So I can misty step, but how far risk. can he misty step is the question. Uh, 120 feet, I believe, is the Misty Step range. Uh, no, I'm sorry, 30 feet. I'm thinking Dimension Door, I think. Oh, it's just 30 feet? Uh, nah, that's all right. Uh, okay, so in that case, he's going to run on up to this creature. Seeing the bravery of the big human inspires him, and he will... Take a swing with the silver great swords and do two swings. That's number one. Yeah, buddy. That'll hit. Uh, so on target hit, it's this plus this. So 18 damage. Okay. And the sec the seven is a psychic. Good to uh, And then here comes the second one. Ooh, a 12, which I assume misses. Yep, this can roll miss. a d4 on that if you want. Yeah, buddy. Come on, give me a 3. Yeah, buddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it. Boom. I don't see the first amount, but I see the second. 7 plus whatever the first dice is. 15. Yeah. Wait, it got 15? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so 23 damage. Sick. Yeah, solid, solid swings at it as uh, you slice into its flesh a few times, ripping into it. It screams out as it still has Wilma in its grasp, but uh, it's looking hurt. Now, what exactly is plain? Oh, never mind. It says the right side. Uh, okay, never mind. Cool. Did Did you send us the character sheets for us to use the good Yankees? You right click the thing and hit uh, get monster block. Ah, there it is. Yep. Look at that. Uh, yes, yes. Actually, no. Larnin up now. He's going to stay back. And, um... Yeah, you see him kind of just put his fingers to his temples and close his eyes and starts 
trying to uh, shoot out a psionic blast at him. Oops, I'm sorry. I need to hmm. make a intelligence save first. Um, that's going to fail. Uh, so yeah, he takes 27 points of damage. Zagarin just focuses in on himself. Uh, hasn't been you know much of a uh, much on the damage input for you guys in all these There's fights that. so far. That's but with that, yeah, he focuses in on all of his psionic powers that has been uh, maybe blessed, maybe cursed upon him. Uh, but using it for positive right now. Uh, for, uh, J Wilma's J just like get him, Lardy. <laughs> Even though she's like. As you're like facing them all. <laughs> yeah, as you're saying that, you feel his <clears throat> neck extend up straight vertical as it starts to open its mouth and you feel it starting to pull you down. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Hmm. So dex. Plus I get I get two d4s if I need it. All good. Twenty two is plenty high. Um yeah, so you do not get swallowed by him. You are still grappled by him. Uh, also, at the start of the round, uh, I need everyone, uh, the three of you, to make con saves. Uh, Wilma, Varakta, and Solrak. I'm going to add my d4 to that. Yes. 15. Oh, shit. I'll add a d4. 8 there, and for me... Can't save. Oh, whoops. Save. Ooh, 11. Let me see if I have an indomitable left. Uh, do you, I mean, uh, you have the emboldening bond as well, right? Oh, yeah, so I can do a d4. Yeah, you can roll a d4. Uh, 14. 14, okay. Um, so... You and Varakta both take 11 points of necrotic damage as you That's feel this me. aura of, of, like, deathly energy radiating out from him. Um, and you also are poisoned uh, until the start of your next turn. Um, okay. Can you lower the health for Varakta? Yes, do it. So it was 11, I said. Yep. There you go. All right, so now, uh, and I'm I have a uh, I have advantage against poison, so that uh, me. this is for the damage part, po being poisoned. So go ahead, roll it again. Uh, we'll see if you get the poison condition, but you, you take the damage. So do another concept. Yeah. Okay, twenty-three. All right, cool. So you're not poisoned. All right, yeah. so um, <laughs> Varakta, uh, actually, he should have had advantage on that Psychic Blast. Um, all right, he's going to take half damage on that. All right, so, um, yes, Jitterjaws, uh, his turn now. With Wilma in his mouth, he tries to swallow her, but uh, is unable to, as Wilma is able to... Uh, push herself up and hold herself out uh, from being pushed down any further but with two easy targets in front of it uh, it goes for some more bites uh, one of Rakta misses and one on Solrak will also miss uh, damn low rules um, mm. wait uh, I want to use a reaction on the one that missed okay you can use moods or do about Right, I'm gonna right post the one that missed and uh, take a swing with Demon Sword. Okay, go for it. All right, let's go Demon Sword. That'll hit. Twenty-four, yeah, buddy. So then I get ten plus <coughs> three plus my D ten. There you go. So twenty damage. Solid. Nice reaction. And you just kind of mm -hmm. dip underneath of his head as it chomps down at you, and reacts, slashing upwards down its neck. And you see, kind of cuts vertically along it, and uh, it's really looking pretty fucking beat up now. Uh, yeah. Few rounds. 
Um, all right, that's its turn. Vazi is up now. All right, so Vazi sees this like rabbit <coughs> half in a mouth with its yeah. legs just kicking Ooh. out. Um, so she's gonna start charging towards it, and right as she passes Fang, like Fang's like ears just twinkle for just a second uh, as she misty steps right above the neck of the uh, piece that's biting her and comes down with the uh, greatsword. Hell yeah, go Two for hits. it. First one, 10. It's going to miss. Out. Second one, 16. That will hit. For six damage. Is that minimum damage? Three to one. Yep, so for six damage... And that's it. Yeah, because Missy steps a bonus action. Yep. All righty, tidy. Um, bum, bum, bum. Yep, you Missy step fly on up, slash down. Its head recoils back, but finds another opening to slash down and get a cut on it. Uh, you drop it down to the ground. Fang sees an opening, do his thing. Um, would I have been able to hear how far that uh, um, the other person went? Uh, your passive perception is 14. Uh, I mean, you can make a perception check if you want. Mm. Nah, I'm a risk it for the biscuit. Alright. I, uh... I like biscuits. Me too. Thorak, the brains of the group, told me to uh, go after him, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Bianca, uh, get your jaws off with the rest of the crew. I'll be right back. Right. As I start making my way, keep track of your distance. You've done 15, 20, 25, 30. Would I know that he went to the right or to the left? <coughs> um, nah, you wouldn't. Nah, fuck. Uh. I think you'd be one. You can make a perception check if you want. Uh, yeah. You could hear him down the halls. Yeah. That's make a perception check. Ass. Yeah, 22. Uh, he, he went straight down from where you are. You can, Yeah, you can he hear him out. giggling and, and, and all that shit that he does. 25. I'm so secretive. Uh, <laughs> all right. Get him, Jenner Charles. Get him. Yeah, he sort of reminded me of Charlie Day. To be honest, aha. <laughs> uh -huh. so then, uh, uh, bonus action. I'm gonna spend a key point. And use step of the wind. All right. Uh, let me mark that. Can you guys see Fang's vision also, or? No, nah, I can't see him. Okay. <clears throat> so I can make it right to you. Oh, you are a. Uh, you're a quick one there, buddy. Whoa! Where'd you come from? It's the uh, the baldness that keeps me rather aerodynamic as I swing with my uh, <laughs> staff of thunder and lightning. 18? Uh, 18 will hit. Yeah! Good shit, dude. Oh, yeah. 14 damage. That's... 14 damage. And then, oh, right back. Oh, 29. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. That's 29 Dang. definitely hit. That's sexy. And damage. 10 damage. You hit him twice. Poof, poof. Uh, shake him up real hard and definitely shock him as you like come sprinting up to him and appear out of nowhere. And I already used my bonus action for Step of the Wind, so that is... Uh, my turn. Cool. And huh. then Kianka. Moving back up her. Sees that Jitter Jaws is uh, looking pretty beat up. Grips her uh, great sword, mighty taut, and just goes charging right up to the rear end of Jitter Jaws. And picks a nice. I keep going to my sheet. All right, and takes a nice swing with the great sword. Womp womp. Yeah, it's gonna it's miss. Two, though, I think. Yeah, but you get two. then comes right back. Oh, uh, with the nineteen. Yeah, there we go. That one will hit. 
I remember it's... you get the, the 2d6 and then the... Yep, so there's six. 8 plus 6 psychage damage. Oh, wait, hold on. 14. Oh, plus 7. So that first 8 gets 7, so 15. Oh, shit, I never did the psychic damage for Vazzy. And so, um... yeah, 6 psychic damage. Plus set. Oh no, plus a seven is. Okay, yeah. It's either. It's seven is the average, so six is what you rolled, so it's it's the four. Oh, okay, total. okay, okay. Uh, yeah. cool. But yeah, then six psychic damage, yep. Yeah. Big slash into roll. it. Vazzy. Vazzy would have done 12, holy shit. Alright. Uh, yeah, you guys are all just. Whoops, sorry. I did not mean to do that. Yeah, I forgot. Psychic damage. He's still alive. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, a couple slashes into He's him. Getting better. <laughs> and no, I mean he is looking very rough. Uh, still has Wilma in one mouth though, but the other two heads are still like kind of trying to sense about, um, feeling very overwhelmed with how many people are around it and slashing into it. Uh, my God, I guess I'll have to meet a hero's death after all, won't I? <laughs> And, um, <laughs> Shalfi down at the bottom here, uh, with Fang right next to him, uh, flips around his spade in his hand and says, Well, you must be really working for the dragon. Well, I'm gonna kill you first, and then I'll kill the dragon! And he goes, tries to stab you, uh, with his blade, a 20 to hit. That will, uh, just hit, yep. Right, he does... Uh, 19 points of damage total. That's 9 piercing Damn. plus 10 psychic. Uh, as he flips it around and tries to stab you again with it. Uh, a 13. No, um, as he, he uh, recoils back from stabbing you that time, he closes all of his eyes on his face. Uh, there's like 8 of them sitting on there. And they all open up, back up simultaneously with this pitch black almost like pool looking back at you and you feel this psychic wren shoot out at you uh, but you evade it as he throws a 15 um, let's see something oh yeah and uh, with that missing and you dodging out of the way of that he looks around quickly blinks all of his eyes once again and whoo, vanishes uh, teleporting about 100 feet away from you uh, well, not just quite sure about that. You hear him land, though, uh, about 100 feet or so away from you. I calls out again, Ha ha ha! Try to catch me! And that's gonna Did be Did I hear turn. from that in which general direct... Or I guess I can just wait till my turn. Yeah. Uh, Solrak, yeah. you're up. Alright. I'm going to, uh... Aim... Try to aim for the, the head that has Wilma. Okay. Uh... Absorb, but I'm not gonna hit directly where it Wilma is. I'm gonna start like chopping it down, like lower, like a tree. Sounds good. Uh, I'm going with Demon Sword. Fourteen plus my D fours, which would be fifteen. That'll hit. Get a one. Uh, yeah. That's seven plus five, twelve damage on the first one. And I'm gonna swing again. Twenty five. That'll hit. With nine plus uh, uh, plus six, fifteen damage. All right, how does how does Solrak want to do it? Yeah, buddy. Uh, I see Wilma just going down and down this throat until eventually I just see the two little feet. And I say, <laughs> "The hell with that!" And then I literally just do one shot, two shot, and then literally like the the creature loses the whole neck it just comes out and it just starts spraying blood everywhere like a fucking like <laughs> like a summer hose <laughs> uh, yeah some nasty stuff for sure let's see um yeah as jitter jaws just gets filleted uh hanging from the ceiling all sliced up like raw strips of bacon uh, you guys all here, of course, Fang has disappeared, running away from, uh, the scene, and, um, and we're still in initiative, technically, right here, but what do you want to do, Solrak? 
I'm going to move my 30 feet closer, as close to as I can to the fanglet. I'm, I'm trying to like no, find please. like a fun like animation to put around. <laughs> They're all I'm... pretty fun, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> go right here. And, call it, and I'll scream. <laughs> <laughs> Wilma, you drop down to the ground. Uh, actually, roll a deck save for me. Dex save. Boom. Cool. Deuces. Yeah. Nice. You land on your little bunny feet, ready to hop away. Do your thing. She is ready to hop away. Um, let me let me let me see something here real quick. Um, quick question. Mm -hmm. Is um, is my bunny hop a jump? Rabbit hop. You can jump 25 feet you're muted i think it's just so oh it's as a bonus action your rabbit hop yeah so, so if the gift yankee casts jump on me can i now can i now rabbit hop 75 feet <laughs> uh i think so um <laughs> let me double check that but i think so yeah Touch creature. Yep, that sounds about right. Damn, that's that's gravy. I can't ready a bonus action, can I? Uh, man. Yeah, I'll allow it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, uh, Solrak, I think your Githy Yankee has a has a jump uh, spell on him, doesn't he? Yeah, he can jump pretty far. No, but he has a he has the spell jump. Yeah, he does. Touch a creature, triple. So, so um, Wilma takes like a step in front of him, and you just see her start like churning her feet, <laughs> and she just looks back at him and goes, "Hit me, baby!" <laughs> <laughs> and and she's gonna ready rabbit hop. Um, so, cast jump on me. <laughs> okay, and uh, I can do that three t three times per day. So, uh, I will say though, like goes. if you're trying to jump seventy five feet, like you know, it has to be like a straight line. <laughs> and it can't just be like I'm jumping and flying around corners now. Oh yeah, no, 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 but but like. If I recall, because before he went straight down, so I can just jump all the way straight he, down this he went this corridor. This side. Yeah. Oh, he went that side. Ah, then never mind. Can't 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 do that. Um. I'll I'll go to here. I'll go my thirty feet to here, and I'll ready it. Yeah, I'll ready it. Because this is, yeah. If that would be never a straight mind. shot, right? I'm just gonna go. Yeah, I'll go there, and then I can ready my jump to go there. So if you just run up and touch me, yeah. yeah. He falls up behind you. So he looks at you. He's like, "I hope you know what you're doing, little one," and touches you and gives you jump. <laughs> she just. <laughs> 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 like all the way into the she just she literally just 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 jumps into the beds. <laughs> She's like shit. <laughs> Bang out of the periphery of your eye, you just see Wilma launch herself <laughs> across the room and land in one of the beds. Uh faster so than you've ever seen a little fur ball fly. Finally she ah! has to up with me. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Wilma, that's the end of your turn. That's the end of my turn. All right, anything else for Varakta? Does he want to move anymore? Um, he will follow everybody down his thirty feet, but we'll basically stay with Solrak. Okay, Larnin is also going to just dash, run as far as he can. That's that. Uh, Vazi. Vazi dash, run as far as she can. So that's sixty feet. Yes, and then let's just take it to Fang. All right. <laughs> so did I hear in which direction 
that. Yeah, it's like the same direction which you guys have come from, uh, down to the southwest. Okay. So that's where I start running towards. Right here. Let's see. That's thirty feet. You have the measure while dragging your token enabled, right? No. Uh, if you go into your settings, the gear icon in the top right, you can enable. Uh, while uh -huh. measure while dragging yeah. tokens, it helps a lot. Awesome! Yeah, I didn't know that. Oh, you guys didn't know that. Oh, uh, yeah. That'll be so uh, much cooler. There's another third. It sets my full distance so far. Uh, still can't see. It's, it's, uh, it's wine night over here. Step Hell the yeah, wind. that's a good night. Step the wind, I'm going to dash, spend a key point. He's not getting away. <coughs> All right. Here, mumbling and laughing to himself as you turn this corner. Oh. Aha! There you are. Man, you are a fast one. As I come with my uh, staff swinging at him. Thirteen. <laughs> Thirteen is gonna miss. Damn. Don't you get a D four right. too? <laughs> probably not. I was probably too far away. Well, you gotta be within thirty feet of someone, yeah. I think, for it to work. And I'm not close. Run it back. Damn, yo. Twelve. Yeah, twelve is gonna miss. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Bonus. <laughs> Nah, I ain't got no bonus action. Alright, ah, that's my turn. Alrighty, uh, Kianka. She's gonna... Oh, wow, I gotta get back up. She's gonna dash. 45. 60. Boom. That's her turn. Okay, with this, uh... Zealot of Talvar before you... Uh, as you make your way up to, he's like, God damn it! You're really fucking fast, aren't you? As he goes and tries to stab you again, uh, and you quickly, nimbly dodge out of the way of this first attack. He goes to do it again. Uh, once again, you are able to dodge it. As he tries to send this psychic wave of energy towards you, man. Nine, nine, nine. nine. Uh, let's let's roll it again. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> All right, so he misses every attack uh, as you just, you know, do your monk shit, dodging it, and he tries to. You see him like squeeze his fist in real tight, close his eyes, and tries to do something, but he cannot, for the life of him, do that oh, thing. Someone's tired. <laughs> just can't remember big dogs now. Tai Tai. Uh, yeah. Uh, so rack you're up. Got some beds up there. You wanna <laughs> get some rest? As he curses to himself. Uh, yeah. uh, Wilma, Fang was by you, right? Like last time you saw him. Yeah, yeah. He he, he went through to the right okay, of me. So, There's like an opening. So I hate running, and I'm gonna slap myself because I hate it, and then mm -hmm. I'm gonna roll dash sixty feet. Uh, thirty, forty, fifty-five, sixty. He went. Another he thing with measuring, he, he went this way. Um, oh, never mind. So then I will go that way. <laughs> 50 feet. Never mind. I'll put so myself rough. back. I'll put myself back. And then go. There we go. He would have been here. And that's where I will stop. Yeah. And I'm like just looking around. Yeah, as you get over here, you hear that eerie sound coming from the chamber down to your southeast, Silrak. You look down there, you see shadows uh, along the walls kind of like <coughs> twisting and moving around and pulsing in and out. I mean, it's like the walls are breathing in here. Uh, but Wilma, you're up. All right, so I would run through 
So 30 feet up to here. Dash action. And I could... He went to the left, right? Yeah. Ah! Hold on, what was that? It was 20... 25, 30. So I'm right there. And then I would... What well, fangs right there? He'll probably be able to kill him. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep running. I'm good. All right. Um, I'm assuming Varok is gonna do the same, so I'll do the same for him, Larnin, and Vazi, uh, and we'll just take it up mm -hmm. to Fang. Fang now. Beautiful. It's sixty feet. I got gotcha. you. Dash. Yeah. All right. Swing him with the staff. 21. That nice. will hit. Oh, yeah. 13 damage. There you go. Swing it again. 27. Yeah, I'm buddy. 27. Swing it. And that's going to be a stunning strike. Whoops. Uh, Nine damage. Nine. So. And, con and a con save DC seventeen. Fail it. Fail it. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need you to make a wisdom save though. Uh Fang. Good. Don't like that. Oh, uh, dirty oh! Dirty. All good. Nice. All good. Yeah, yeah you feel this um rending energy attacking your mind as you um, strike into him twice physically like this uh, but you are able to resist any sort of mind attack and you heard him big and you see him kind of uh, hunch over and be frozen in this state now, a stunned if you will yep, bonus action give him a nice like whoops, roundhouse kick with advantage 27 27 will hit and seven damage. Yeah, he's looking, looking beat up now. Uh, got a couple of black eyes. I mean, his eyes are all always black, but you punching into him have, <laughs> you know, bruised him a bit. Uh, anything else for you? No, you know what? Actually, I, I just kind of sit crisscross applesauce. Okay. And just uh, wait. And you just wait <laughs> as Kianka comes running up as well. <laughs> Uh, he sits here frozen, uh, cause it's until the start of your end turn? Of my, end of your turn. End of my next turn. Yeah, alright. Uh, you see him kind of like, his eyes aren't even blinking at all. He's just kind of like stunned here in place. Uh, so Rec, you were up. Alright, uh, right, already, right. already had Kianka move, Luke. Oh, yeah, 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 you're good. Uh, okay. I'm going to slap myself again. <laughs> and uh, let me take that damage. And I'm going to dash 60 feet. Okay. Bam, bam, pam, pam. And I'm going to see that Fang's got it handled, but I'm basically just going to keep guard to make sure that nothing comes at him. Sounds good. All right, Wilma, you're up. So Reckham's right yeah, down I there. I just book it down. I'm just gonna dash. Book your T. And show Rakta will dash as well. Yep, yeah. We'll do the same for all the other guys and we'll just take it back to Fang again as everyone comes just charging around the corner trying to keep up with uh, this craziness here. Actually, uh, even though he is stunned, he will try to just do this. Cool. Good to know. Um, and yeah, Gotta Fang. Kill him. <laughs> uh, like. All right, guys, let's go ahead and put on this show, get it over with. And so I kind of like spring myself up, like I kind of roll back onto my back and spring myself up with my hands onto my feet. And then I do a spinning kick to trip him out. Uh, let's see. Um, arm strike 28. Oh, 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 oh. 11 nice, damage dude. and then as he's kind of falling like with his back I go just straight up into his back for a backbreaker 
Off right. Yeah, he's looking hurt. Yeah, that'll hit. Nine. Twelve damage. Oof. And then bonus action on his way down, heal right to the skull. With advantage. That'll hit. Uh, seven, seven damage. Seven damage. Oh man, he is uh he finally is able to like shake himself out after being hit so many times right there. Uh, but he doesn't look like he has much fight left in him right now at all. As he kind of grabs for his spade down on the ground, he's scrambling around as much as he can. Um, anything else for you? Yeah, okay. well, uh, Kianka that ran is down. Uh, yes, yeah, so Kianka yep. ran down, whatever. He is now freaking out, trying to grab his, his spade next to him. Uh, he goes and tries to pierce it. Actually, uh, I needed you, I'm sorry, at the start of your turn to make a wisdom save, Fang. Uh, cool. 22. You are good. As he tries to stab up at you after grabbing his weapon, uh, you quickly evade um, first attack. The second one, he goes and tries to fake you out, but does like a double yeah, fake uh, out. I use a warding flare on that, hold my hand up, and blind all his eyes. <laughs> oh, yeah. You see, they all kind of like Ooh. go wide uh, and glaring with this blinding light as he tries to strike but misses. Uh, with that, he pushes himself up fully. Shoots off a psychic energy towards you uh, that does not seem to and grab it, hold on to you. Nope. And uh, with that, you see, he once again, squeezes in his fist and closes all of his eyes as he whoo, disappears from your your space. And God damn it! Reappears. Uh, well, I guess you can't see him. Uh, well, you should be able to, actually. Um, I should have light on everything in here. Um, so, yeah, he, he runs away, uh, vanishes, and you can see him about 80 feet away from you uh, now. Uh, Solrak, you're up. He's, he's like, hunched over, grabbed onto his chest, and he's trying to just run away. Um, he's, like, he's, like, over in this dark... Yeah, like where you guys fought like those, it. like, flame skulls. He went this way. Yeah, yeah, he went, like, down and up around the around the corner. Right. Yeah, perfect. Oh, okay, I see him. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to move. That's 20. Uh, slap myself. And then I'm going to go. 40 oh, it puts me right in front of him and then I say stop doing that <laughs> <laughs> call my turn no. <laughs> hilarious uh, Wilma you're up alright so I'm gonna run my 30 feet I am going to throw uh, sacred flame at him which is 19 dex save. 19 dex. It's a 25 on the dex. And then, <laughs> let's see. Let's, let's see how this goes. Um, I am going to tell me if this works. Um, so, like, I'm running, throw the thing, he saves it. He's kind of, like, off balance from focusing. And then I just take off with another just, like, missile hop. And I just, like... Just fucking nail his ass with like a foot to the face. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll go. We'll do ahead. Go ahead and make a um, athletics check, and he's gonna make a, another like deck save. Athletics yeah, check. Yeah, death by bunny. You have to be at twenty six. Oh, it can't be at twenty six. Oh, well, you foot. You jump on over and try to land on him, kicking him, but he qu quickly dodges out of the way. Uh, having some sort of um, premonition of sorts, uh, recognizing that you're about to hop onto him and attack him. That's it. <clears throat> What'd you say? Okay. Got eyes in the back of his head. That's right. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, so Varakta, uh, um, I'm assuming he's just... going to move up 30, nah, 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 and right. then he's going to. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, yes, he's going to 
uh, Misty Step on over right next to this asshole because Misty Steps at will. And then I'm going to attack his ass. Okay. Great sword. 15? Uh, 15 will miss. Okay, one more. Oh, this is the this is the this is the main one, right? You can do you can roll a d4. Ooh, one I fifteen will roll a if D4 it matters. On that. Oh, that's a four, so nineteen. Uh, that'll hit. Yeah, Goes buddy. One, two. Three. So thirteen uh, plus thirteen twenty-six damage on the first. Okay. Yeah. And... How do you, how does he want to do it? Yeah. You. <laughs> <laughs> so that's literally, first. Sick and tired of chasing this asshole around, and the Gith Yankee are not particularly known for their patience. And uh, it runs up and it just sighs. It's like, I'm not playing games, we're not children. And then he just misty steps over, and literally, he uses both swords and just literally chops one arm, chops another arm, chops a leg, chops another leg, and then just <coughs> leaves like. An armless, uh, legless uh, being just fucking bleeding out there. Oof. That'll teach you to run. <laughs> and just leaves him bleed out coldly. Oof. Savage death. As, yes, this zealot, this cultist of Talovar has found himself in pieces on the floor here. Uh, at the end of the blade of a gift Yankee. And... He is not going to be uh, doing his teleporting anytime soon. I, I, I can tell you that. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, but with with Jitterjaws dead, with the Zealot dead, uh, you guys found yourself back down in this chamber of this briny maze where you guys saw these wizards uh, kind of melted into the wall where you saw these flame skulls uh, expose themselves <laughs> and uh, yeah. blow you guys up a little bit. Uh, so from here, um, what would you like to do? I uh, look over at the crew and say, well, uh, we were going the other way when we found you guys, so I do think we should get going that way again. I think maybe um, <clears throat> after everything we just did, we should probably check out that chamber. It's, it was kind of almost like they were, they were protecting something. Mm-hmm. Let's do it. <laughs> um, before we go, though, I'd, I'd, I'd take a look at the zealot's body. I'd, I'd make sure, like, hey, all the eyes are closed, because that just weirds me out. <laughs> and then I'd probably just kind of toss him just to, you know, see if he's carrying anything that would be weird. Sure. Uh, yeah, you look him over, and uh, you see that he's got a set of, um, attached to his hip, he's got a set of, of like, pan flute pipes. Uh, you look over there, seem to be like made out of bones and such, um, or some either bones or ivory. Uh -oh. It's kind of hard to tell exactly. Um, that's really all he has outside of his rusty spade and uh, some some boots with some holes in the bottom of them. Okay. I kind of like kick him one last time and then hop away. Um, head back up north to check out. Jitter Jaw's dead body. As um, Fang and Solrak, go ahead and make a uh, intelligence check for me. Alright. Either intelligence or history. I usually do them in a 19. 19? Would you say that? <laughs> I'm a genius, so. Six. Oh, oh. <laughs> you still You're still the D4 if, base, son. Yeah. Oh, that was if a you want, Solrak. Let's see. If more of a genius. <clears throat> 22. 22's pretty good. Um, you see Wilma tosses this body, and the only thing she finds are these, um, you know, kind of grimy old pipes, uh, these pan flute pipes that are on his hip, and he's got parts of, like, a broken lute on him, too, that's just totally not salvageable. Uh, but as you see her observe these pipes and just kind of toss them to the side again, uh, you get a little flash of recognition in your mind as they look eerily similar to the pipes that Wilmore had as well. I, uh, <clears throat> I go pick him up, and I kneel down against the body. 
and I just like say it out loud. Why would you have these? Obviously, it's long dead, but and I just keep saying, "Why would you have these?" I'd probably turn around and go, "What the hell are you talking about?" look back and I hold it this was Wilmore's so he says that I just kind of like snatch it from him and I just kind of like look at it and start like toss them around in my hands and I even give him a blow or two yes. or just yeah. you know so I could just I could just finally blow Wilmore just one last time <laughs> As you, you blow into him, it gives a very eerie and haunting kind of sound. Uh, you know, not far off to how Wilmore made you feel most of the times, or much anyone else here. Uh, but these pipes, yeah, they, they lend a very haunting and eerie feel to them. Uh, very ethereal kind of sounds. Um, and, you know, Wilmore was a strange guy. Uh, it makes you feel a little piece of him once again. But as Solrak says, is to this this dead man, why, why do you have them? Do you think there's... Chalvar playing another game with us, or do you think maybe these witches were somehow in uh, Narvi's lair? Well, I mean, Narvi could have brought them here by himself. It sounded like a Narvi. Narvi disintegrated him. There shouldn't be a piece of it. There should be all gone. He should be in hell. There's no... Unless they found him in another plane? I, I don't know. None of this makes any sense. And I literally go up to the torso again and I just kick the shit out of it. It goes like... <laughs> it just kind of rolls... <laughs> <laughs> it's. It seemed as though maybe all of this was planted for us. For us? Or as a mind game? I think maybe we go and um, check out if that Jitterjaws had anything on him. Or uh, just why the hell would you put something that big in a dead end? kind of start hopping away. You think the other witches or wizards have anything else on them that might have been Wilmore's? Is it these things? Yeah, that's right. He didn't have kind of... that many items to his name. Uh, his time of death. And again, he was disintegrated. Uh, most of what we were able to save we had ourselves. His broom... And a couple of other items. Uh, Solrak, I'll oh, sorry to interrupt you, but I will also add with your twenty-two. Um, I mean, you would remember how Wilmore acquired these pipes specifically, and that was through Fillmore, through traveling to the ethereal plane to an, another, like a spirit realm of sorts, and these were given to him through this realm. When I said, when I asked, was it through another plane? And I, I start leaning into that more. Um, I look at him. Could he? Uh, could he somewhere? Could he somehow still be alive? How else would this be? Uh, no. Uh, I, or let's keep moving. Or maybe we're on the ethereal plane. I don't know. The, the corpse doesn't look similar to. It's a it's a human, right? Uh, once was human. Okay. <clears throat> Let's keep we're only going to find answers uh, the further we get. That's right. 
When that's when we find that son of a bitch Narvi too. That'll be the last thing he does is give me answers before we take him to hell. Brock, would you down. happen to have any uh information on where we need to head? Well, as I uh was mentioning to you all, we discovered that the room that we were camping in, those rods attached to the wall were some sort of activation rods. They opened up a door of sorts. If we were to continue this path and go around to the west, um, where he's like, well, which I believe is probably the west at least, uh, it would open up doors over there so that you could continue on through here. Uh, I believe that that is probably where we need to head. But as I mentioned, we need to have someone touch both of these rods to connect them together to activate the charges uh, into one. I uh, look at Wilma and I say, uh, Wilma's used to touching two rods at the same time. I, th I think she should do it. She's got I'm actually only used to touching one gigantic rod, but that's a whole other story. And as I keep walking up to um, uh, Jitter Jabs little area yeah yeah you continue pushing on up here uh to um shalfi's digging spot and jitter jaws uh, kind of starting beginning to necrotize hanging on the ceiling up here um you look around and all you see in here is that shallow pit in the corner that's ringed with these black ridges as if the flesh in there is like necrotizing as well um bits of the flesh that the whole the freshest part of the hole, you can see it's starting to like kind of uh, regrow and heal itself a little bit. Um, but other than that, you don't see anything else in here. Hey, you said the the creature is starting to heal itself. No, necrotize. He's like, like it's starting oh, to like, okay. like shrivel up and turn black and like okay, disgusting. Okay. Cool. cool. Uh, well. Uh, this thing's gonna start stinking here, so whatever we gotta do, let's do it quick. But we got just, so you're, I think so you're saying, so you're saying, someone has to be pushing in those two shafts for that door to operate. Yes, believe it only stays open for a certain amount of time as well, because after we came back to take a rest and checked out again. The door was once again closed, uh, which is about the time when you all found us after we were coming back here and, and resting for a bit longer. Uh, if well, you, if well, you uh, go up and touch both of those rods, it should do the trick to open it up. And as I mentioned, we should really be quick with making our way over there before the door closes once <laughs> again. Well, maybe wait, 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 wait. I have an idea, and I'm going to run back to the corpse and I'm going to grab the two arms and I'm going to run back with them <laughs> the arms <laughs> that's sick bear with me <laughs> and I'm going to walk up to the contraption right and with my little piece of rope I'm going to tie one hand to one rod Oh, the rods are down there, dude. <laughs> oh, where where are the rods? Yeah, maybe you're taking. Well, I think if if we're if we're gonna do rods and stuff, we just just give me a second here. I, I'm I'm gonna I want to look in the, oh, yeah, in the hole you. before we before we go to the next section. But I have I have basically the the one arm tied up to one of the rods and another one ready to go. So as soon as we're yeah. ready. As, as you're setting this up, uh, one of the Gift Yankee looks at you and like begins to just shake their head and say, Idiots. It needs to be a living chain. Well, you didn't specify that before. How else it's would a, a dead trying. body send electrical currents through it to, to meet with its uh, the other rod? Idiots. Duh, Solrak. Now, at Fang. you didn't know that. Shut up. And, 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 and I enjoyed tossing the arm with the dead arms. <laughs> now, unfortunately, or fortunately, I should say, I think this is where we part ways with Larnin. 
And this is his one last good duty for us before he, you know, finish off his life. And as he's talking, I'm using one of the arms to, like, pet his head. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Garnon kind of looks uh, at you Garnin. and says, oh, why is this the end for me? Aren't uh, you infected? As you say that out loud, they get Yankee look at him seriously, and all each one whoosh, unsheathes their blades and says, you have an infected with you. Wait, 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 wait. He's been extremely helpful. And it's the reason we've made it this far. Uh, he's linked he up to the He is brain. the reason you've made it this and far. It's pathetic and weak. Very... He's linked to the brain. He can lead us exactly to it. And uh, show us what he's thinking. And when he goes too far, he knows that he's going to get chop chop, die, die. Lawrence. He's trying to do the ultimate sacrifice. It's very brave. Give him a break. Garnet. Not only that, but who else is going to be able to open that door for us? Well, I'm I mean, sure that could be your time. Any one of you could. Uh, but, yes, I suppose he could. It doesn't need to be a sacrifice of sorts, though. You look at him well, still. It would be nice if it stayed, and uh, in case we need to come back, they could open it. Because so Carlos would get back. Garnet's hands are up. He says, look, what they say is true. I... I am infected, uh, however, I, being linked, I'm using these powers to, to help them, and in turn, help, help you all with defeating this, this evil brain, this, and the mind flayers, and what have you. That's right, you saw him hit, hit that disgusting creature. Did a lot of damage. Pretty used for a battle. Didn't have a problem with it then, did you? Lauren's gonna make a persuasion check. Can I give oh, him Larny. Like, help or anything? <laughs> if I have him his back. <laughs> he don't need it. Uh oh, okay, that was <laughs> wisdom, which it's the same plus, so all good. Um Woo. Yeah, they they see the sincerity in Larnin's eyes and his face and his the tone of his voice. And they each sheathe their blades and say, If for one second we sense that he's going to turn on us, do something malicious against us, or any of you, that head will be ours. And Lauren, still fair. with his hands up, says, that, that, that is fair, that is certainly fair. I promise you, and as they have said, that I only mean good intent from here on out. That's why we like you, Lauren. Kind of looks at you, Fangs. Just, like, gives you like a face. Like, watch your mouth next time. <laughs> yep, that's my bad. <laughs> uh, that's why I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed of the group. Uh, all good, uh, but let's we know. And then I just go north. <laughs> Sorry, I got something in my. Uh, let's go up to Wilma up top. Uh, investigating this hole. Uh, as I mentioned, it, it's it's just like probably. Uh, maybe four feet deep at this point of flesh just dug into it kind of goes down tapers down to a point um and you can't see anything past you know what you see in this hole just dug out flesh all beginning to kind of like necrotize around itself and um turn black almost like it's frostbitten on the outside but bits of it starting to regenerate and grow out the center of it as well i guess it's more like um, um, is assisting yeah, I, I guess it's more, I, I'm just very curious as to, like, when I hit the brain, it hurt me, yet it just decided to let this guy dig into it. Mm -hmm. So it, it like, it, the brain let this happen for some reason. And, you know, is, is there, I don't think I have any spells or anything that I can do for this do i have any rituals detect magic can i um just take a second detect magic see if there's anything different about this this hole this area like i just don't know why all this shit's here and sure. now that it has wilmore's pipes it's really bugging me yeah, sure um you go ahead and sit for a moment uh, originally cast detect magic, try to sense out any auras around you. 
Uh, as you're mostly in an enclosed space with nothing in it except for this, you don't pick up any sort of auras and magic permeating in this area um, at all. Any sort of lingering um, kind of necromancy magic coming off of Jitter Jaws is, is fading away rapidly. And um, yeah, you, you're not really picking up anything outside of the strange kind of... Um, I don't even know what kind of magic you would call it, but what this whole place is is obviously yeah. creating some sort of magic. I kind of like stick my head in the hole, <clears throat> cast light on like a rock, throw it down, mm -hmm. just to kind of see if there's anything going on in there. Uh, yeah, no, you toss it down. I wouldn't and... stick my whole head in, but yeah. Yeah, you, you can pretty much see already from where you are the the de the full depth of the hole, uh, even without this light spell, and um, really. You don't. You're not making out much more than that. Uh, as I said, uh, you know, Jitterjaws mentioned as you guys asked them that in a day or so they would probably make it through here. Um, not sure exactly how long they've already been digging at it for, but as mentioned, it's about four feet deep as is, and um, the flesh seems to be regenerating. Hmm. Can I hit the bottom part? So like, the, I'm assuming the flesh is like singed at the bottom part. Uh, say Something that again? of that nature. Um, so like the bottom of the hole, can I hit it with like a sacred flame to see if anything happens? Uh, probably. I think technically like, cre things that can't move or whatever, like, you know, you, you can't do mm. saves against. Um, but yeah. You could definitely try to, you know, hit it with some sort of attack. Mm-hmm. Um. I try to. I don't want to get in the hole. Um. I'd kind of oh, cast. Do you? <laughs> yeah. Um. If there's any like long piece of um. Oh yeah, because they chopped the head off of Jibber Jaws. Mm -hmm. So I'd go over, grab the head, cast Shillelagh on it. <laughs> And then just like whack the bottom of the hole with it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure Shillelagh's for like a wooden staff or a yeah. club oh, or a quarter a staff. Like or... A... <laughs> <laughs> okay, this... I know the Irish thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I just, I just, you know, I hit him with my Shillelagh. Trying to stretch a can trip uh, heavily there. Yeah. Um, no, but yeah, like I said, you see that the flesh here. Uh, they, they were digging out at it, and as I mentioned last game, uh, you saw he was digging at it with the spade, and if it wasn't for Jitterjaws taking these chomps out out of it, mm -hmm. it probably wasn't going to make Nothing it much either. further. Yeah. Okay. Alright, guys, I think, um, unless we want to sit here and try to chomp away at this, I think maybe we, uh, we head through the, uh, the rods, if you will. So I'm good. Unless you guys want to keep on going. Alright. I'll move Wilma back down. Rods we go. Alright, so with and these rods uh, right here, Larnin uh, goes up and approaches them. Says, well, I guess this is where we'll say goodbye. We can't... Can you bring Veracta? I, I don't see why you can't come with us, buddy. Oh, you'd rather. Yeah, I got Veracta here. Yeah, let's, uh, I, I have a feeling we don't want to come back through here anyway, so let's all go together. Okay. Uh, uh I'll touch the rods. You guys all go through. Well, this and, isn't uh, the doorway here, the the Gith Yankee say. The, you have to go back around to, you know, where we pretty much were just where the dead wizards were in the wall. Keep going around and around, following the path, and eventually we'll make it to the door then. That's why I said we need to be quick after uh, activating the rods. Well, how long does the door take to close? Uh, it, Is it, it could be. It, it could be as quick as an hour uh, not sure we it took us a, a bit of time to come back uh to it ourselves to investigate well let's just uh okay. activate well, the door work. and then um <laughs> jog on over with haste and i uh i get on my broom yeah i'm tired of running after that little asshole so <laughs> i'm fine zip zap zoop and you could use the exercise so rack yeah shut up baldy <laughs> Uh, so, sorry, you said you were grabbing the rods? Uh, 
Yeah, I, I grab the rods to open the door, and then I'm going to get on my broom. Yep, Sorak places one hand on each of the rods. As he does, Sorak, you feel this electric shock just jolt through your body as you're holding onto it, and your hands won't let go of it because you're like kind of just stuck there in the way that this electrical charge is pulsing through you. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, I pledge allegiance to the flag. Let's do this. Da, 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 da. 21. There you go. Mm. All right. So you Woo! will take just seven points or six points of lightning damage as that courses through your body. You let go of the rods. Uh, your hair is kind of sticking up a little bit, like static electricity. And uh, you can see a little bit of electricity like writhing through your armor. Um, I'm sorry. You are. This does say if you're wearing metal armor, you have disadvantage. So go ahead and roll that again. With disadvantage. Okay, okay you said it was calm. There we go. All 22. Right. So take yeah. your pick. <laughs> I love it. I love that shit. All right, so uh, as you touch them, let go, you feel the shocking sensation course through you. Uh, but you guys can all hear a boom, boom, sounding like uh, some sort of mechanism moving um almost sounds like it's beyond the wall of like where Solrak is standing currently and i look over at the githyaki and say lead on the way folks and then i have to lead right. Vrakta gives you a nod and pulls out his uh great sword and uh begins to lead you guys on through let's go so i'm gonna just drag you guys tokens and take you yeah. to a spot. He's got a spot, you guys. Got a spot behind the target. Yeah. We can smoke weed. <laughs> I was about to say, uh, do a quick save. I was like, nah, this is not all this game. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> totally surprised. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. Uh, as you guys turn this corner, too deep. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not sure if you guys can see. Uh, like you, you guys came from down here, of course, right where you first entered. So you guys yeah. turn around the corner, passing this area. And as you get around uh, the first corner. You guys see these four dead Duragar corpses just strewn about in this curved passage. Um, oh. Yeah. Well, I'd say we keep it moving. I don't know how long the door's going to stay open. We don't want to yeah. end up like those guys. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Keep on moving. Um. Let's Unless anybody has an opinion, I'd uh, take a take a look at the corpses. Is there any reason why they died? Sure, make a investigation roll. Loneliness. <laughs> uh, that of a broken this? heart. Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, you see, of these four corpses that lie here, they seem to have died from weapon wounds. Uh. It looks like maybe sometime within the last month. Uh, they all kind of have like post mortem head wounds as well. Hmm. That's. That's always fun. One of the corpses, you notice that, of course, that they are Durgar, which are, you know, dark dwarves essentially, under dark dwarves. Uh, it's strange. One of them, the right arm and the right leg is like. Twice the size it should be. Just kind of looking at that, is it like... In, is anything moving in it? <laughs> is it being like eaten from the inside, or is it just swelling? No, yeah, it's it's strange. Um, it just looks like the arm <laughs> is like abnormally out of proportion, and its leg for the rest of its body type. Mm. You can make an Arcana check if you want. Of course I want to. Nope, no fucking clue. Love it. Uh, it's very fucking strange, for sure. Uh, I guess Solrax sees you checking this out and kind of kicks over the body, too. Um, Solrax, you notice that 
of course, as I mentioned, like it's, it definitely died from some sort of uh, weapon attack, it looks like. Um, you see wounds on its body. Uh, you see wounds on its head as well, but it's got this gorgeous cape on it on its uh, body that it's kind of still tied around its neck. Um, and as you look closer at it, you seem to notice some magical runes on that. You're muted, by the way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so I lean down and I uh, look at Wilma. I say, you see these cuts right here? Uh, these clearly indicate they died of natural causes. And I <laughs> take the the magical looking cape. I said, but this right here does look like it could be something cool. And I uh, show it to Wilma uh, to see if maybe she knows anything about it. Wilma has no idea. Oh yeah, looks, so, looks so, nice. Yeah. I have a feeling uh, this could be something. I'm gonna try putting it on. Definitely something. Cool. Uh, Fang, do you want to try to check it out? As, as yeah, Sorak goes and puts it on. Let me, let me see that real quick. I, you know, I've I fancy a good cape here and there. I said, wait, check this out. And I have it on, and I'm on my broom, and I fly over to him, and then the cape, like, flops like Superman. It's like, isn't that sweet? What? <laughs> Nat 1. That's two Nat 1s in a row. Uh, yeah, no, Fang, you've never seen anything like this either. Um, Soul Record, you're not actually, um... How long does that emboldening bond last? It's ten minutes? Ten minutes. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that would have passed up. Um... Yeah, you know, you definitely think, you know, you see the runes on it, think it's got some sort of magical purposes to it, but you're not sure yet. None of you guys are. What exactly um, it does. Do I get the haunting oh. pipes from Wilmore, since I picked up the pipe, or? Yeah, yeah. I gave them to you. Okay, all right. I'll add on there. Pipes of haunting. Very obsessed. Yeah. yeah. And, I'm, and I'm wearing the cape. I think it looks cool, so I figure out what it is. I'm going to wear it. And I'm going to show it to the Githyanki and see, uh... You guys know anything about this? Uh, Verakta is going to be the only one that looks over at it. And, um, so let me see. Ah, uh, um. Bum, bum, bum. No, I'm sorry. I... Seems like it probably has some sort of magical powers to it, but with most magical items, you just have to focus your energy on it and attune your, yourself to it. To really figure oh. out the purpose of it. I see. Well, let me see if I could do so. Uh, Remember, we don't have much you, time. Yeah, let's keep it moving. And uh, I'm just going to wear it for coolness sakes right now. But let's keep moving, guys. Okay. As you guys and can... uh, do a quick scan to see before I go uh, anything else on the body so I would have seen that Wilma. I thought you were about to say, do a quick save. Um, no, you don't. <laughs> don't seem to notice anything else. Uh, you, they have like kind of rusty uh, armor and and weaponry on them. Some some battle axes and hand axes, but uh, nothing of value. Well, let's keep rocking. I keep moving. As you guys continue on, Sorak, you just kind of jaunting your way on over here. You see this massive spider web here, right before you. And how did the spider web comes? These two enormous spiders scuttle about. While inside of it, you see these other two shadowy figures just staring at the back wall, seemingly unaware that you guys are here. Um, this wide space is filled with these translucent web strands up from the ceiling and the wall is down to the floor connecting from each side. Um, the webbing, it gets thicker on the far side of the room away from um, these passages that you guys are in right now. And uh, yeah, these two enormous spiders kind of scuttle about inside their webs. Uh, definitely seem like... We gotta go that way, right? Uh, yeah, the Githyanki would tell you that you need to go around. Uh, this is quick. We just oh. we ran by here before without any issues. 
Yeah, I hate spiders, so let's go. <laughs> and right. Keep running. All right. We'll keep flying. We're going to do a group stealth check. Uh, so everyone rolls stealth. I'll go ahead and do it for my, all these uh, Gith Yankees. Ooh, 26. Totally going to fail. <laughs> There's too many of us. <laughs> Four. I mean, well, that makes sense then, though, right? You get too many people, it's harder to be stealthy. Um, you, you doing my average for me? How many of there are of us? Oh, we're doing an average. Oh, God. Seven. Seven. How many? Seven? One, two, three. Yeah, that's seven. So like we seven. have one, two, three. Thirteen point two eight five. All right, Twelve was the number that you had to beat. And uh, you guys, uh, I'm going to hold you to that number, taking it as the holy truth. Um, <coughs> as you guys see these spiders kind of scuttle about in the webs, seemingly like sensing something, you guys quickly and uh, make your way around the corner, evading them. Uh, these two shadowy figures that stand inside the webs, uh, you guys notice they're, you know, shorter kind of figures, uh, you know, akin to a Durgar, of course, uh, but more similar in style to like, um, uh, God, I can't think of his name now. Uh, the guy that was with Warren prior, uh, with the tentacles mm. coming out of his face and stuff. Oh, the... mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. So you guys make your way around this corner and they give the Yankee say, I, uh, we just want to be quick, right? No, no uh, investigating anywhere else. Uh, make our way through the doors and out of here as quickly as possible, right? Let's rack. All right. Uh, you guys keep on pushing up and around. And uh, Solrak, as you make your way up around this corner, you see in this room straight to your north, uh, like slime coating these walls and the floor all in this area. And this enormous kind of brain-shaped creature sits in a puddle of goo while these four fleshy little nuggets bounce around nearby. And you just hear like a squelching sound coming from over here. Whoa. Uh, I, uh, I'm trying to fly <laughs> by and uh, ignore it, but it's like one of those things that just like is such a sight that it, you know, you can't help but to rubberneck a little bit and like, you know, I'm like fly by, like I zoom by the spot with my broom, but then you see me like slowly <laughs> like back up, like, what the hell is that? <laughs> Rock the uh, kind of pulls you guys back and hide behind the wall real quick uh, as you guys see this. And oops, did that not send? Let me try it again. As uh, he says, that's the, like brain like creature that I mentioned we saw. I think I need to refresh my screen. Uh, says, uh, I would be careful. It's going around that. I'm not sure if we want to eliminate it or just keep on going. But let's get to this door personally, first. I'd love to see it dead. I kind of agree. And I mean, we I are was... here to kill brains. Guys just We're also here like, to go pop, through a door. Pop, pop. Another popping sound is another one of these kind of fleshy nuggets flies out of the brain, squirming around and flying in the area now. And you just hear like this kind of strange, like squishing sound in this on uh, that clustered uh, corner. Sounds like that brain is making more of those things, which means we'll probably have to fight them. So I think go. it's good to kill them. Yeah, ew, look at that thing. Or is it... I'm sure it's a brain. Looks like a bunch of eggs. Looks like fang. <laughs> I kind of look at the thing, and I look at fang, and I look at the thing, and I look at fang, and I look at the thing, and I look at the fang. I don't see it. <laughs> Thank you, Wilma. But I suggest we either keep it going or charge in there like a bunch of heathens. You gotta decide right now. We can still make the door and kill this thing fast. You don't know that. If you What'd didn't... You if, if Verakta didn't want you to go back there and sort through those dead bodies, what makes you think that he's gonna want you to try and kill this... He just said he wanted it dead. Little just he, said it. He wouldn't mind it did, but I'm sure we also wouldn't mind making this door and not having to restart the whole process. Rock up. Do you want to kill that thing or not? 
uh, see him kind of like have his internal battle real quick in his mind, thinking about it. He says, death to all aberrations. Yeah! Let's fuck shit up. And I'm gonna fly on over to the side here and have Rack to follow me. Alright, make a stealth check for the two of you then. I'll go ahead and do Varactus. 14. 20. Alright. Um, yeah, lucky for you, you don't see any eyes on this brain-like cluster. It doesn't seem to see you quite yet as you guys sneak on over, and these little fleshy bits that are flying about uh, don't, don't seem to notice you either. Is the floor slimy? Like, slippery? Uh, it looks that way. Like, it could be... T oh, well, actually, I don't have to worry about it, because I'm in a broom. Okay. So, I'm going to look at Veracta. And, uh, I'm going to say, let's make this quick. And, uh... I'm going to charge in. While they're, while they're doing that, I see them go over to there. I just kind of go, shit, everybody, uh... We should probably kill the brain first. Um, and I'd kind of like get into position ish. So like I can still see him. And as soon as I see um, Soul Rack and Barakta charge in, I would hit the brain with a guiding bolt. Okay. From my, because uh, like I'm walking up and I'm like reading my star map. All right. Fang, anything so, from you? Uh... <clears throat> um, nope, I'm just hanging back and just watching the show for right now. Okay. And so now we gotta make it to this door. Wilma, I need a stealth check from you. Actually, Even from back here? It's, it's just, I mean, not that you would know this, but 60 feet is the range of its perception, and that's exactly where you are from it. Uh, right. yes. Da, 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 it's not. It's not a high, you know, passive perception or nothing. Uh, but <laughs> not very stealthy. Eighteen. All right. You mm. pull it off though. Um, All right. So I'm what? sitting there, got my star map, and I'm. When they go in, first I like, just just. So Soul Rex gonna go in first. Ah, oh, sorry, I'm a ruler. This is five feet. I told you four inches is four and inches. Boom. <laughs> and at first I'm gonna attack this thing. It's a big four inch. This four inch <laughs> thing. Okay, you come running on in surprise, swinging around at these little flying nodules. And uh I'm on my no no flying, I'm on my broom. Oh, so um, you're also a flying nodule. That's right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 23. 23 will hit. That's 11 damage on the nodule. <laughs> nodule Thornberry. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna oh swing God, at it again. <laughs> 19. And that's 12 damage again. All right. On it. And then I'll go again. Go for it. 19 again. Oh, yeah. And that's 13 more on it. Okay. Nigel's, Nigel's still good? Nigel's, Nigel's looking. It's, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's a little guy floating around, but it's, it's, it's speed up for sure. You've slashed into a lot, but it's got this strange, <laughs> um, f like the flesh on it just seems to have this kind of like, uh, regenerating property to it. Uh, 16. That, that will hit. Okay. That's 13 damage. Would this thing be like undead in any way since it regenerates? It is not, no. Okay, so 13 damage. Okay. And that will be it for him. And then Varakta is going to follow. Go for it. Um, Varakta is going to move in. 10 and uh is gonna then misty step over to the brain boop and 
will do a uh, two double swing on it. Cool. Let me mark off that messy stuff. I I've done it uh, on his sheet. I got to take okay. care of it. Okay. Uh, boom. This is the first one. Ooh, yeah, 27 on the brain. 13 plus 11. 24 damage. Fuck yeah. Um, it was psychic 13. is the 13, so yeah, you notice that it seems to have some sort of resistance to that. Whoops. The psychic was the 11. Actually. Yeah. Seems to have some okay. sort of resistance to that. 13 to hit will just hit. Awesome. 15, and then the psychic is 10. Okay. Okay, so 25 total or whatever it yep. takes. And uh, that is it for him. Yeah, Wilma, you're up. And uh, everyone else, roll initiative. Yeah, I, I rolled, because uh, I, I stepped away, I rolled gotcha. my to hit and my damage at the beginning. I think I'm coming back right now. Oh, let's see, it looks uh, like 19 guiding bolt damage. Yep, yep, 19 guiding bolt damage. So right. next attack on it has... Um, uh, what oh, wait, you call what, it? What was the t oh, 21's the hit. Yep, so that will hit. Guiding yep. bolt 19. Yep. Cool. And then the next attack has advantage on it. Yes, this thing is glowing now brilliantly. Um, okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Fang, did you roll initiative? Yep. Cool. Uh, Wilma, did you? Was that 29 yep. your initiative? 29, baby. Sheesh, go for it then. Plus uh, 12, man. Yeah, you, nice. sh you shoot off that radiant blast, illuminate it. Uh, we get Sora. it. You go first. And you see <laughs> another 42. chance to get a shot on it. Um, and then uh, just follow that up with a sacred flame, 19 dex save. 19 dex, okay. Ooh, 16. All right, so 14 damage. See a couple and of these little I pods explode on it. And then I am going to move over here, so as this it cannot see me. I'm assuming I get like full cover from there. Uh, yeah, it won't be able to see you from there. Okay. All right. Cool. And that is going to be end turn. Okay. Uh, this creature is up now. This brain-like creature. Um. Um, oh man, I forgot that it actually has advantage on those saves. Let me do that again and fail. Cool. All right. Um, it kind of advantage on a deck save. Yep. Uh, any sort of magic. Um, yeah, I gotta get it. <laughs> Slimes its way on over towards uh the Gith Yankee up here. Uh, you see part of its um like these pods that are all around its body. These like kind of liquid juicy filled pods they got some sort of pus inside of them all begin to stretch out and form like a uh, arm and slams down on top of the Gith Yankee uh, 17 to hit um, no he's got an 18 um, he will try to do it again uh, 21 to hit will hit he does 19 plus Eight psychic, so that's twenty-seven damage total. Um, and ba -ba 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 -ba. you see, as like, um, I guess I mentioned some of these like pods look like they're pulsing. You see the liquid inside of them like bubbling around a little bit. Uh, a few of the pods just <laughs> explode, and. Uh, a couple more of these little creatures fly on out of here. These little nuggets. And uh, that'll bring us to Soul Rack now. Can't search for them for whatever reason. I'll just copy and paste these. You're muted, Carlos. I can't. I'm going to swing at the first thing, in the, at the nodule thing I was swinging at. Yeah. 22. That'll hit. That's 11 damage on it. And that one explodes and dies. Fuck yeah. Uh, if I squeeze next to the 
Githyanki in the next <clears throat> nodule here, would that provoke an opportunity attack on this one? Uh, no, but you wouldn't be able to, like, just stand right there. That's not a place where you could just stand. How big are those nodules? Uh, they're, like, two feet, about. Okay. Um... But it's really the fact that the brain thing is taking up all that. There's four squares right there, and then the the Yankees taking up that one. So, ideally speaking, it's taking up four square. If I, like, stood right here, mm -hmm. I could hit it, right? Yeah, yeah, you could. Okay, cool. And you have That's advantage on your do. attack. Yep, buddy. Demon sword. Here we go. 26. That will hit. And that is 14 damage. 14 damage. And then nice. hit number 3. 16. That will hit. Yep. And uh, would be nine, uh, 13 more damage. And then Dawnbringer time. 26. This brain doesn't happen to be undead, does it? It does not. Is not. Okay. <laughs> so that's nine more damage. All right. And that's going to be my turn. Yeah, you see it oozing out several pores on its body and the ooze slipping down onto the floor around you. Uh, actually, as you did move a step up, I do need you to make a deck save. Okay. Uh huh. Ooh. Yeah. It doesn't really matter, actually. I mean, you would have just fallen, but you would have taken half your movement to get back up, but that's how that goes down right there. Uh, one of these pods <laughs> behind uh, Varakta flies on over and see. Ooh, that's a nat 20. Uh, hits Ooh. it with this psychic slam. Doing 38 points of damage on him. Uh, and he is looking <laughs> hurt after that. Um, it then, like after slamming into it, you see these little pot, these little like tendrils around its body re reach and leech onto Verocta's neck and start to like pulse. As you see, it's like beady green eyes around its form. Uh, begin to like try to uh, siphon some of its life from him. Rockta needs to make a deck saving throw. Um, I'll go ahead and do that. Um, that's a five. Uh, so that's a fail. Uh, he is going to take uh, eight points of piercing damage. And uh, you see it's just kind of stuck onto his neck and <laughs> leeching uh, energy out of him. And that is going to be it for him. Verocta looks like he is a stone's throw away from going down. Uh, your turn, Verocta. Okay, so first thing that he is going to do uh, is uh, he's going to misty step uh, to the... Hold on, I have to refresh my sheet because I decided to freeze. Uh, misty step behind the creature. So out of the grip, and right behind him. Okay, the little thing, the nodule thing, uh, will still be leached onto his neck, though, stuck onto him. Um, that's what's, uh, wait, sorry, right there. Um, yeah, that's fine, but okay. the thing that's grabbing him is also the brain, though, right? No, it's the little thing right above him. Oh, it's just it's just a leech. Yeah. Okay, never mind. So, uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to rip that off. All right, go ahead and make a strength check. Okay, let's go. Strength thirteen. Uh, Vrock just scratching and pulling and trying to rip this thing off but can't seem to get a solid enough grip on it to be able to pull it off okay uh that had been like a bonus action or a free action um or that had been his action 
Like, could he it still says, attack? as an action, the target or a creature within five feet can detach to the, by succeeding on DC 15 strength check. So it's technically an action. Okay. Okay. So then that's it for him. All right. Um, this one right here next to you, Solrak, comes up to Actually, you. Actually, though, he's still... Nah, never mind, never mind. That's it, that's it. This one next to you comes up and tries to slam into you, but misses. Uh, where's this one at? Uh, this one also tries to come up to you. Actually, he's going to rock the two. Ooh, that's a nat one. It's a miss. Uh, brings us to Larnin, who comes around the corner now. <laughs> Sees this action here. Um... Not much he can do from here. He's going to try to recharge this unsuccessfully. So he goes and throws a dagger. Uh, and that hits. Um, yep. Just does four points of damage. But now his dagger is all the way over there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I have to go get that. Like, Aw. <laughs> ah, shit. Uh, this, uh, I can't even I don't know how to pronounce this. Encephalon Gemule comes over to you, Solrak, and uh, tries to slam into you. Uh, a 22 to hit. Uh, I'm going to block it with my wangs. Okay. Use a reaction. <laughs> Create these uh, spectral wings around you to block it out. And that'll bring us to Vazi. Vazi is going to just run 30 feet. Uh, sh she'll dash... Head up here in the corner. Okay. That's it. All right, Fang, you're up. All right. Um. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna. Hold on, let me just double check something. All right. Okay, I will move up. Move it on up. There. And then I'll, uh, I'll cast a, uh, a burning hand. Ooh. So, yeah. Let's see. So let me draw tone. Oh, wait, AOE, oh, there we go. 15 feet tone. There we go. And hold up. Oh. Let me rotate that. There we go. Right there. Alright, so the four of them. The three, three little guys in the brain. Yes, no, maybe yeah, so? Yeah, 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 that seems right, yeah. Okay, so yeah, let's say that, you know, you could get just like this. Yeah, yeah, I'm not good at Okay, yeah. so uh, deck saves, right? Deck saves 17. No. Okay, uh, the brain will go first. Uh, that's an 8, but he's going to burn a resistance. Um, and then the other 3... Let's see, deck saves, they have advantage. Uh, 17 on one of them. Yep. yep. 17 on another Damn. one. 23 on the third one. Damn. Well, all right. I'm Half damage, see. right? Let me double check. I don't think so on burning. Oh, yes, they do. So let me, uh, 3d6. That's good, at least. Oh, nice. Uh, so they take six damage. Okay. The brain will also and take that six. And I just move back 15 feet for my full 60. Uh, and that'll be my turn. Okay. Uh, this little dude here uh, kind of shakes off that burning sensation. Comes flying over towards you. Uh, and is going to try to slam into you. That's a nat 20. Mm. Damn. Uh, does 33 points of psychic damage to you. This 
little being, uh, this strange kind of aura emanating around, it just pounds into you. Um, as it does, it you feel its tendrils kind of reach around where it does. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. It's Fang, right? Yes, Fang. Ooh. <laughs> this was a great decision. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Worth. That that will save. Um, yep. So all good. It does not seem to leech onto you at all. Um, right next to Solrak, you feel another one come slamming into you, uh, but you block it with your your blade with an eleven to hit, and that brings it to Kianka. Uh, let's see how far can I move? You're gonna get right there, and then Misty Step is what, 15 feet? Uh, 30 feet, I believe, right? 30. Oh, mm -hmm. fuck, yeah. So she's gonna Misty Step. Uh, like right there. And take a big old slap at that little old thing. Go for it. Alrighty. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. Thirteen? Thirteen will just miss. Damn. One more. Slippery little fella. Oh, there we go. Oh, nat 20. That will hit. <laughs> Ooh. Hell yeah. There you go. So, eight damage on the one, and then plus d6. So, ten total damage, and then... Does the psychic damage get Yeah, it added gets crit one? as well. Okay, so it would be... It's 4d6. 4d6. Two, three, four, five. Nice. Yeah, you notice that the psychic element of it isn't heavily effective, but it does seem to hurt it still as it tries to shake itself out of this and its eyes blinking around. Uh, one on each side of its like kind of pyramid-like shape. What his so hold on, is it not like max damage and then the other dice? Uh, yeah. we could do that. Um, yeah, no, I just you know I typically like, okay. a lot of times I just switch it up with you guys the way I do it with monsters and PCs. Word. Okay. It's fun to roll dice. Um, love, love dice. All right, anything else for you? That's uh, that is going to be her turn. All right, turn uh, Wilma. All right, I kind of pop out a little bit. Um, brain thing's looking fine, right? Uh, Nothing... it's, it's looking a lot of these little um, you know, like little pores pop. or whatever. They look a lot of them have exploded already. Like you guys have put some hurting on it. Okay. Um, oh, so this ooze just kind of dripping down from these pores. And this little guy up by Fang and Kianka. He's kind of hurt, right? Yeah, kind of hurt. Kind of hurt. Uh, yeah, he's not going to be able to get in there. All right, uh, you know what? I'm going to Sacred Flame the Brain again. 19 okay. deck save. 19 deck. 17 deck. That's a net 20. There you go. All right. Yeah. And I'm going to slide back in, and that's it. All right. Brain up now. Uh, you see it's growing some sort of limbs, Solrak, as it does. It slams. Actually, it sees this weak Githy Yankee right next to it. He's going to go for him. It's going to slam down on him once. A 19 will hit. Uh, and this is going to knock out Varakta. <laughs> One Damn. big slam just takes him down. As you guys see, this leader of the Gith Yankee uh, can knock back cold. Um, and he's going to go down and slam down on him again uh, with advantage. And uh, that is a crit naturally on him. Or not naturally, but uh, because he's down. Uh, so let's see if we can do enough damage. I'm going to ascend him. I'm going to ascend All right. Let's see, though. Um, does that get the six added onto it already? 
Yep, so 24 plus... Oh, that's weak. Wow, that's... How is that possible? That's 66 at 13. Um, 37 total. So no, Three ones not, on there. Not Dude, enough to, to kill him fully, but he does have two death fails. Uh, Solrak, go for whatever you're going to do. All right, I'm going to Sentinel that biatch. 26. Yeah, buddy. So I get... I get 9 plus my D10. Make it high, baby. Oh, yeah. 17 damage on that biatch. More of these little bubbles explode and squirt out this green ooze from them. Uh, yeah, it's looking weak, but... Um, As you hit it, Silrak, with that, it uses a reaction as well and slams you back. Uh, that's a 20 to hit. He misses. Misses, all right. Um, and that is your turn. And now, now it's my time to play. And I'm going to swing away with uh, Demon Sword. Oh, 18. That'll hit. And... That is nine, eight damage, sorry. Eight damage. And swing again. Ooh, an 11, which I assume misses. That will miss, but you see almost all of this uh, ooze has exploded out of these little orbs, these spheres, and the 25 will certainly hit. That's 16 damage. And with that and... one, they all just explode into little bits and burst. This green ooze in every direction. Um, I need you to make a dexterity save, and, uh, you watch as some of this ooze sprays on Varakta and burn into his flesh, and you see this grip that he had in his hand just slowly releases as his hand falls down in what you can only imagine is death. Um, a 15, okay. You will only take four points of, uh, psychic damage. And, uh, yes. Now I still have a bonus action. Would that would I be able to give him the health action or see if he's okay with that? Uh, or is he totally just? He looks like dead, he, dead. he looks like he's dead. <laughs> he dead dead. Uh, oh. But you do, yeah. As you said, you have a bonus action. You could certainly attack one of these things around you still. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh. Which one's the weakest looking of the three right next to me? Would it be this one? None of them have been hit. Oh, none of them? Okay, well, yeah. I'll start with... <laughs> you killed one, and that was it. I'll start with the one closest to the brain, I'm oh, sorry, that one actually has been that. hit. Yeah, yeah, he's he's the weakest. Oh, there you go. 13? That's gonna miss. Ah, uh, okay. And let me see, actually... Nah, I'm not gonna... Oh, that'll end my turn. Okay. Uh, with no longer living flesh in front of this little cluster, it flies on over to you, Solrax, trying to slam into you. Uh, 22 to hit. Uh, I'll block it. Uh, yep, okay, cool. Yeah, you just took your turn. So, Psychic uh, Dragon Wings wrap around you, protecting you. And that is it for him, as this one now also goes and tries to do the same thing. Uh, to your south right, and that's a 25 to hit. Uh, He's he, got it. He will do 20 points of psychic damage on you as it boom slams into you. Feel it rack your mind. Um, this blue one now to the north flies on by with you right there, tries to slam into you. Uh, 12 is going to miss, and Larnin is up now. He's, he comes, sees a little bit of an opening in here. He comes running on up. Uh, Let's see. That's his full movement right there. Um, he's going to try to recharge this. Whoops. Rolled it twice. He's not able to. Uh, he's just going to unarmed strike. He's going to try to punch this thing out of the air. Um, no. He certainly does not. <laughs> with a three. And uh, the one to the south of Solrak now goes and tries to slam into him. Uh, doesn't either. That brings us to Vazi. Uh, I mean, 
Ozzy's kind of blocked by everybody, so moves up here. You know what? He'll misty step in. Okay. And yeah, he'll misty step over to here, and then he's gonna swing at this one. Okay. Let me mark that real quick. Misty step. Smash it. There you go. So swing one, five, Ooh. swing two, nine. Oh. Oh, that's just, oh, this little thing's too nimble. Mm. You guys can't seem to get it. Uh, let's, oh, let's see if Fang nice. can, though. Um. Yeah, I will. Uh, I will try and swing at uh, the one right in front of me. Okay. Twelve is not gonna do it. Mm -hmm. I'll try again. There we go. 29. There, that one will. Twenty-nine. Yeah. Twelve damage. Just punch at center of mass. Yeah, and then uh, bonus action. Um, right. I will do flurry of bows. Cool. Flurry of blows. Mm -hmm. uh, so I will, you know, try and kick this thing in front of me. Yeah, he dodges it out of the way of the first one. Yeah, you know. Alright, well then, for my flurry of bows, actually. Yeah, I'm going to heal myself. Okay. He's using hand of healing. You go to try to hit him again. He just flies out of your way. Uh, so you see an opportunity to kind of focus in on your key and heal yourself. Eight health. Anything else for you? Uh, that is it. All right. Um, with. Let's see. Uh, we're gonna go roll a d4. Um, actually we'll do a d6, 1, 2 is Larnin, 3, 4 Luke, 5, 6 to get. Alright, to Larnin, it goes and tries to slam into him. Uh, a 13 will miss Larnin? It will just hit him. Um, does only 8 points of damage to him, but Larnin is looking pretty hurt now, guys. Um, I'm not sure if his health just updated <clears> on that little thing. Oops. There we go. Um, okay. That will bring us to... Bum, bum, bum. This one right next to Solrak. Another slam into him. 25 to hit. It uh, if it ties, it gets it, right? Uh, <laughs> you use your wing, which is only for a single attack. So I would, if I use my wing, I would have a 25... But you uh, already used your reaction after your attack. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry so yeah, you take 17 right. points of damage, and that'll bring us to Kianka. Uh, as these little things are just giving you guys the runaround. Yeah, um, Kianka is going to kind of veer off of. Actually, now, she's going to swing at the first one while, while she's here. Um. There oh, we go. 20. That will hit. Mm. Nice. So eight plus. Oh, max damage. Yeah, with uh, that, Kianka just slashes it in half. <laughs> Splits right down the middle and falls to the ground, flopping around. Nice. And then coming over to help Solrak. Ooh. Yep, that will hit. Oh, womp. Six damage. Ooh, 11. 
Yeah, not buddy. so nice psychic damage. All right. And that is its turn. All right. Yeah, Kianka just slips though at the end of their turn, <laughs> falls down to the ground. Um, stepping into that slime. Oh, uh, Wilma, you're up. And hey, Wilma kind of runs back out and sees the brain's dead now and Solrax completely surrounded. So she just um, grabs her little pearls and reaches out to him, and these two <laughs> little bunny ears pop out of his of his head, and he uh, that's gonna be what is it, sanctuary on him? as a bonus action or actually no before i do that i hit them with a uh sacred flame so the one closest or the one closest to me the the yellow one 15 damage on a 19 deck save all right That's, so nothing yep and then sanctuary on soul rack and then back from whence i came all righty so to uh, ba -ba -ba. so if Carlos attacks anyone though that will drop. Oh, it's on him. I thought it was on me. If the warded, uh, if the warded creature makes an attack, he's the. Oh, warded. then never mind because he's going to attack somebody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's not going to stand there. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I don't do yeah. that. To him. Okay. All right. Uh, so rack okay. you're up then. Okay. Uh... I'm going to take a swing with my demon sword to the one I've been attacking. 18. And that's 11 damage. Cool. Okay, I'll swing again. 21. That'll hit. With 10 more damage. Yes. How the fuck is that thing still alive? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> ah shit that misses uh 25 uh 25 will hit and i can't see my damage nine damage nine damage with that that one <laughs> squirts and it falls down to the ground lying in the pu puddle of ooze at your feet and it's dead uh i'm gonna use my action surge okay Tired of, tired of these motherfuckers, and I'm gonna swing three more times okay. to the next one. Uh, this one right here, and let's see, demon sword, twenty-three. That's eleven damage on the first. Twenty-three again. Yep. And that is 12 damage on the second. Oh, yeah. 15. That'll hit. I think it hits. And I can't see the seven. I can't see the number below it, though. It's a three, so 10 total. But yeah, that one's looking weak now so after ten. that round of slashes into it. Okay, and that will be my turn. Still kind of hovering about a little bit, but yeah, it's, it's looking weak. Um, <coughs> alright, one right to your northwest was going to try to psychic slam into you again, uh, but it misses. Um, we're just going to keep on doing the same thing to you. Uh, nope. And that one's a nat 20, uh, the blue one. Mm. Uh, as it slams Third into one. you. Oh yeah. It does a total of 24 psychic damage to you. Okay. And that'll bring us to Larnan, who runs on in. Dex. Let's see. Oh, yeah, he's good. He grabs his dagger, continues to run on up, and tries to stab into the one that you were just attacking, Silrak. Um, misses. <laughs> uh, yep, and he tries to charge up something else, too, but that does not work. Uh,. Just kind of throws his shoulders up at you as this one notices him here, tries to slam into him, uh, does hit for 19 points of damage as Garnon looks at you in the eyes, so yes. rack with this hit and <laughs> lights out for Garnon as he falls back into the slime, unconscious. Vazzy is up now. Vazzy is going to swing at the one right in front of him. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, no. one. Come on. So 
So one. That'll hit. 20. So that's that. Nine plus seven. And with that, explodes and falls into the green slime. Uh, no longer a threat. All right. She then takes a step up. Hits this yellow one. 16 will hit. 16. 10 and 7. Cool. All right. Yeah, nice big slash into it. Uh, let's see. You step on over and uh, you fall down <laughs> at the end of your turn <laughs> after taking a step in that slime, but uh, you do get a nice slash on this thing, though. After, nice. After killing one of them. Uh, Fang. Alright, uh, move on up, step over to Bianca, right in here. Yeah, you're and nimbly bimbly, don't have to worry about the, the ooze yourself. That's right. And I go swing at this one. Oh, 18? That'll hit. Yeah, 11 damage. Run it back for 28. And that'll hit. 10 more damage. That you poof, knocked that one out of the air against yeah. the back wall. Poof, slams down and slides into the ooze. And then that one closest to moi. Uh, I will do another um, flurry of bows. Okay, cool. Bonus action. 18. That'll hit. And 13 damage. Cool. And then uh, I move right here and turn over to Lauren and, and see uh, just exactly where this little booger kind of leached <laughs> onto Lauren. And so I, I go ahead and rest my hands right there. And the uh, my elemental tattoos kind of start to glow and you see this transfer of energy from the light uh, illuminating from the tattoos kind of drip down to my fingertips and into his neck Hell yeah! Uh, where they were leached on and so let's see how much he will get back six, uh, six health <gasps> oh, he gasped his breath as his eyes shoot <clears throat> wide open. He says, oh, Jesus Christ! Or I guess he wouldn't say Jesus Christ, but fuck! No, like, <laughs> Not again! Uh, Sorry, anything else for you? That is it. Alright, Kianka. Kianka will take half her speed getting up. Yep. And um, can make another deck save, though, once she starts to move again. Takes another five feet into here. So that's hell yeah. So she definitely will. Let's see. Uh, um, Dex is it? Or check. Just click Dex. Yeah, the plus two up there. Yeah. <coughs> Fourteen. There we go. That'll do it. Nice. Stays on her feet. Uh, moves up five more feet. Does she have to do it again? Nope. All good. Hell yeah. All right, coming for that one. In front of her. Boom. Oh, Womp Womp 6. That's going to miss. Yeah, for sure. Then Oh, wow. <laughs> Double 6. Uh, unfortunately, those will both miss. Yeah. Uh, that'll bring us to Wilma, though, who might have a good chance. Wilma is going to pop around. And I will... Yeah. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What is it? Um, I will Sacred Flame the one that Fang was trying to hit. And that's beat. Alright, nothing. Alright. Around the corner I go. <laughs> Solrak, you're up. Whoop. <laughs> you're muted as well. Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, wait, I can't see the two... The two that are closest to me are dead? No, these, the right? these two are both alive. Those two are fine. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to swing at this one with my demon sword. Yeah, 
Let's change the color of one of them. 18. That's that nice. damage. Six damage. <laughs> and I'll swing again. 27. That'll hit. And I can see the nine. I can't see the number below it, though. Four, so 13. Mm -hmm, that's better. And a 25. And I can see the 10, but I can't see the one under it. It's a three, so another 13. Okay, that's better. 16 with 14 damage. Exactly. Oh, yeah. That's what you needed on that last one to mm. stab through Fuck. with brilliant light. And that one just kind of begins to shiver around and poof, lets off this little poof as a little uh, green ooze squirts out from its wound and collapses to the ground. Yeah, buddy. Uh, anything else for you? I look at that last one right next to me and say, Let's do it for Varakta! Uh, not knowing anything at all what you're saying it just slams into you uh, but misses unfortunately uh, Larnan now awake uh, he's like very uncertain <laughs> about what's going on <laughs> yeah like pushes himself off the ground or he doesn't even push himself off the ground he just kind of sc sc like scoots his butt against the wall and like just leans up against it right here and tries to recharge a uh, bit of energy but is unable to uh, Vazzy is up now as he is, I can't even get over there. There's too many. There's too much meat. Or I guess I can. Uh, can I walk over the dead bodies? Yeah, yeah. You, you could walk like, over the dead body over of Rakta. Sure. <laughs> just, just walk over the dead body of Rakta. It just completely infuriates me that my leader died to these these little fucking things. And swinging at the guy. That'll Twenty. Hit. Ten and six. Oh yeah, it's looking hurt. <coughs> Eight. Womp womp. Very quick and nimble, these things yeah, just bang. dodge out of the way. Uh, Fang, though, it kind of flies into your direction. <coughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to chop down with the, uh, the old staff. 26. That'll hit. 12 damage. Oh yeah, it's looking hurt. Okay, one more. Go one. 14. That'll just hit. Yeah. As their AC. Oh, and max ammo. And how does Fang kill this last one? Nice. Yeah. And just like with that last one, good old baseball swing. Just like, just like pop putting right on the tee for me when I was a kid. And just taking a big old swing at it. And. Goes right into that wall and just obliterates. Explodes. The old Faerun, uh Little League <laughs> team. Yeah. You know, good old, good old Faerun T-ball. The Goblins. They were, they were the best team. Oh, uh, played man. a lot of games in the uh, I Spire Mountains. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was, a, it was a very short season though. Winter <laughs> baseball season. <laughs> Um, as you guys stand here in this layer of, of green ooze, um, about ankle high, uh, you see the Githyanki's, uh, Kianka and, Vaz and Vazi both grab, uh, Varakta's ankles, begin to pull him out of here. Say, so, Varakta, Varakta, please! And they start to shake him. And they say, one of you, can't you do something? Wilma, can you do anything? kind of look around and um i could i guess i can kind of run over to him and um i cast uh spare the dying or now you touch a living is he is he dead dead uh you guys it seems like he is not just unconscious he is not breathing at all currently all right so i go over and try to cast spare the dying and and i'm assuming that doesn't work Nothing, uh, nothing happens with that at all. So, I mean, there really isn't much we can do unless somebody has a diamond handy. If we, if we really want to do that, the 
clock's ticking. You're muted. Can't hear you. I don't mind running back to the rods and reopening the door if we can save his life. I I don't have anything to save his life with, guys. Unless somebody has a diamond, like, right now. Keep the Yankees? You have us? You guys have a diamond? Just, you look at them, and they clearly do not have a diamond on them. I, uh... So guys, uh, we could put him in our bag of holding until we can figure something out. <laughs> I think he's, I mean, by now he'd be dead. <laughs> there's, there's nothing that I could do now. Um, he's in, he's in Wilmore territory at this point. They would say, just let him be. Let Vlacketh take him now. He served his purpose. Coming here. Helping us get to this far. He dies in battle. And he, he dies in honor. And he wanted that brain dead. And boy, baby, look at that brain dead. So he got to do what he wanted. I kind of look up to him as a, as a lady of the cloth, and I kind of like flaunt my beads. And uh, is there any uh, burial rites you guys need? Says, just give us a couple of minutes. Uh, we say our own prayers. If you have your own you wish to do, you can join in afterwards. But we pray to Vlaketh for his safe return, his soul's safe return to the astral plane. To once again be reborn to fight these evil gech. There's still plenty of fighting to do, gentlemen, so take your time. I kind of walk into the room where the brain was and start poking around. Uh, yeah, as they kind of take a knee, put down their blades down, you see each one of them like per start performing some uh, Gith Yankee um, rites, you know, rituals of uh, when those pass on. And... Um, it's a very kind of solemn moment as they look over their leader dead before them. Uh, but of course, as they knew going into this kind of line and this lifestyle that this is inescapable and just part of the journey, uh, part of the quest of making sure that the Illithids do not spread and take over and enslave others as they did to the Gith Yankee for thousands and thousands of years. Wilma, you take your time now. Just step very carefully and nimbly into this room uh, filled with this green ooze everywhere. Um, as you look around in here, this just really seems like a, a layer for this beast to grow, to live, uh, procreate out of and uh, bring back any hunts as you notice um, little fleshy bits uh, along the wall behind of where it was originally stationed that you saw before and as you look closer you see a couple of like faint trails of slime going in and out of the chamber in different directions oh from like the front so you would, like roam the halls and eat exactly and uh, now that you're looking at this and uh, you know what this monster is capable of, uh, you kind of put two and two together that possibly those the wounds on the Duragar's he head came from this beast possibly feasting off of its uh, their minds and such. <coughs> Just another uh, another monster slayed, I guess. I just kind of exit the room and walk by the get the Yankees and pause for a moment. Make sure I don't ruin anything. Yeah. And yeah, they take a couple more moments uh, wrapping this up, and they both, I'm in unison, um, utter a few gift words and then stand up, give a, a bow to the body, and um, they remove his blade and um, place it on top of his chest and wrap his hands on top of it. It says, 
even in afterlife, to get the Yankee carry their blade. So that way they can be protected and kill. Continue to kill those evil ones. Look at the blade and my eye twinkles a second. I'm like, May he rest in peace, my friend. <coughs> I say, may he rot. Or may he rest in power. And I put my head down. They both give you a, a nod. Um, still not really showing much emotion, not much sadness, just a lot of cold um, faces just trying to power through this and not show any sort of sadness or conflict within themselves, just pure strength. So they look ahead, look, point past Wilma's shoulder and your shoulder, Solrak, to say, the door is still open. We should make our moves before it's too late. Just kind of look at the door. And run. Let's let's make this not be in vain, guys. Let's go. By the way, uh, how long would you say all this non-battle stuff time today has taken? Because I haven't done my ring. Sure. Uh, I'd say there's probably been like an hour of like battle combat stuff at least. Cool. Um, as you guys run through here, you see shreds of flesh and broken bones scattered all throughout this room. Uh, at the end, you see this enormous double door uh, that is swung wide open. That's uh, and I say, no time to waste here, and I run to it. Uh, Fang, anything that you do? Uh, nope. Just keep on moving for right now. Okay. Well, my deep my player screen is not updating, so let me refresh this real quick. Yeah, you guys see this room that you're standing right now just filled with you know, corpses, uh, pieces of, of rotted flesh and chewed on flesh, uh, you know, shards of broken bones and all sorts of things like this. Definitely seems like it was a, a feeding chamber of sorts. Mm. And the door is right here, right? Here? Yep, you pass on <laughs> through the door. Uh, as you see, this irregularly shaped chamber it's uh it's very large. Um, you see the, these two sets of double doors uh, lead in the same direction up in the north, but the doors uh you know they lack any handles or hinges or anything. Um, and as you guys make your way on in here, you hear like kind of a the sound of like wind, just like air being pushed around and moving up to the north. And you guys look up there to see this scaly sphere with enormous center eye. And just waving eye stalks coming out of its mass and a large toothy maul as it just floats vigilantly through this area. Uh, I look at the it's Yankee I say you guys should use your powers. If you know what I mean. Bazzy looks at him and goes, I, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Man, can't you, you know, use your mind to, like, throw that bitch around. <laughs> As you are saying this, this creature that you guys see floating around here, um, send an image to the game log, you see it friendly floats closer and closer to you guys with all of its eyes affixed to you. It's a large central eye um, open wide and it's got this sharp toothed maw just grinning at you, uh, looking at you guys, and it says What do we have here? One, two, three, four, <coughs> five, six new visitors. Well, that's just Perfect. Because I'm at number 94. And six more is 100. And you know what happens when I get to 100? We get a free meal? And I pull out my blade. While all this is happening, I, I um, 
everybody just starts feeling a little bit elated as I as I cast a enabling bond. Giving guys well, an opportunity I, to yeah. I kind of look at everybody and I goes, I guess we'll never know what happens when he gets to a hundred. And I kind of like wink at Solrak and Fang. Give him like the head nod. And neither shall you. As you see all of its eyes begin to go wide. And you see energy, magical auras emanating. Different auras emanating around each one of these eye stalks. And I need everyone to roll initiative. Ooh. Oh yeah. Alright, what we got here? Come on. We'll call it in ten minutes. So we'll probably get one round in or something. But, That's uh, perfect. Let me go ahead and add them for you guys. Okay, uh, Wilma with the jump per use. Uh, what do you do as you see this floating creature with eye stalks coming off its sides come up to you guys with this sharp tooth mouth and all stalks kind of looking like they're pulsing with this magical energy and ready to strike? So I've already cast. Um, enabling bond on every body because it's five. So one, two, three, except Larnin. So us three and the two Githy Yankees. And then the prayer beads start kind of flashing a little bit. And that's going to be blessed for us three. Let me mark that. And then I'm going to hit him with just straight up. Uh, Sacred Flame, so 19 decks. All right. Hold um, on with this. Right. Sorry. Yeah, I'm within 60 feet. Uh, Dex, Sacred Flame. Uh, on. All right. Uh, yep. Cool. Uh, so that's 16 is gonna fail. Yep, so that's going to fail, so 21 damage, and then I am going to move <coughs> over to here, just kind of create some space, but still within 30 feet of someone. Yep, so everybody's good, and that's my turn. Okay, Solrak, you're up. Okay, I'm going to run on up to that creature. And, uh, actually, let me check before I do this. Sorry, sorry, technical difficulties. Oh, yeah, we're not going to take a long rest anytime soon. I'm not going to rage. I'm going to swing at it with my demon sword. 22. Okay. As you strike at it with your demon sword, you notice that the blade, the fire on it seems to go out. As you stand before him, uh, you can swing at him, but there is no fire energy on that blade right now. Oh. Okay, well, in that case. Uh, 22 will I hit. Will... Can I pretend that it was the Dawnbringer I swung with then? Uh, no, because you wouldn't have known that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, until you approach this. This is for 10, Nate. <laughs> <laughs> Six points of damage, though. Go on. Well, if the pa the fire would have gone out in front of it, uh, but you known. you would also notice though that the light on the Dawnbringer also goes out. The light on the Dawnbringer? That sounds impossible. Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, I'm gonna swing. Uh... Huh. So in that case, with the Dawnbringer, it would just get one d8. Damage, not the plus six, or how would that work? Yeah, just the normal damage, no rate, no. Ra uh, yeah, I mean the Dawnbringer automatically. Oh, actually, no. The, the, yeah. the... Whoopsies. So never mind. So yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna. Yeah, well, fuck it. I just have to do the other two swings. Actually, on that demon sword, I'm gonna pretend that's my bonus action, and then the three other swings I'll do for Dawnbringer. Sounds good. 15 on the first. I'm not sure why it's not hiding that. Um, 15 will miss. Okay, 23. That will hit. 
Yeah, yeah you could have rolled damage. a d4 on the... Oh, does, yeah. does he still have Bless, or is that screwed up, too? Um. So, yeah, what you guys are noticing, as he's looking down at all of you guys, that all of your magical gear seems to be unaffected, unenchanted right now. Um, and it seems like the Bless has dropped from you as well. Enabling Bond would hold, though, right? Because that's a... That's a prayer. That's yeah. Or is that it's, magic? it's it's not. Oh no, it's it's a magical bond. So yeah, yeah never mind. Okay, so then here I go from my yeah. other one. Twenty-two, with eight more damage. Okay. And uh, that'll be it. Cool, cool. Fang, you're up. You also notice like the sparks from your boots seem to go out. The sparks around your quarterstaff doll. And all that yep. fun stuff. Good thing I'm a monk, though. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I'm gonna run up and just fucking kick the bitch. <laughs> don't, don't need magic shit. <laughs> That's what they teach all the monks. Love it. Rule you number one in monk training. <laughs> I love kick it. the bitch. <laughs> when in doubt, you kick the bitch. <laughs> Damn, nice, big, big old kick. Sorry, Asher, I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> He's like, so bitch, it's really already awesome, dark. <laughs> yeah, right. Uncle being loud. 13, oh, 20 damage. 20 damage, nice. nice. That's huge. Huge. Oh, huge womp womp, 11. 11 will miss. Yeah. Bonus action. Uh, another kick. 21. That will hit. Yeah. And 13 damage. Nice. Not yeah, bad. And then I move back 